I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can create crazy environments using AI generated fill for video. Let's hop right into this. So we have the brand new Rich Forever music video here by Cole Bennett. We're gonna go and find a frame that we wanna add the generative fill to. So we're gonna pick this one right here. And before I get ahead of myself, if you don't know what generative fill is, generative fill is basically where you take a scene just like this one here and you expand on it and you make the world so much bigger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and crop out the scene right here from where it begins. To where it ends, just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and take a screenshot right here of the scene. Now we're gonna open this up inside of Photoshop here. Make sure you have the newest version. This is where we're gonna create that generative fill effect. Super quick, before we hop into this video, I'm offering a buy one, get one free Christmas sale. So every single editing pack on our website is buy one, get one free. And you guys can do this up to an unlimited amount of time. So if you add three editing packs to your cart and then add three more, three of those are gonna be completely free. Alongside this offer, we also have an all-in-one bundle. So if you've been looking at grabbing all of our editing packs, you can get them all in one at a crazy discounted price. Some of our best editing packs are fast and with effects that allows you to add drag and drop hits, shakes, and transitions to your videos super easily. Our LUT pack that contains over 250 plus unique LUTs and so many more effects like drag and drop 3D, slow shutter effects, Polaroid transitions, and a ton more. You guys wanna check this out. It's all on my website, tinytapes.ca. It's linked below. But let's hop right back into this. So opening up the scene here, as you guys can see, we have a look just like this. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unlock this in the layer right here, hit Control T, and we're gonna bring it down to about here. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure all this white space here is what you want it to automatically fill with using AI. So if you want it to be so much bigger and fill so much more space, you can leave it like that. But for right now, I'm going to leave it like this. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to highlight this area of the video, leaving a little bit on the edges. We're going to right click, hit select inverse. So this is selecting everything around the video, as you guys can see. We're going to hit generative fill. Now it's going to ask you, what would you like to generate? You can put a prompt in here. Basically, you can say, expand the scene just like this. Or you could say something crazy like add a spaceship, add a UFO, add the moon, etc. Then you're going to hit generate. Now you're going to use the arrow keys here and go through and find something that you like. Now these aren't what I'm looking for at all, to be completely honest with you. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit delete. We're going to do the exact same thing again, and we're going to hit generative fill, and we're going to do it without keywords. And boom, as you guys can see, without using keywords here, we have a crazy look just like this. And you can go through using the arrows and pick the one that you want. Now I'm really paying attention to the way this fence looks right here. It looks a little bit warped in the first one here, but I believe it looks the best in the second one. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the layer right here. As you guys can see and then we're going to save this as a png file and then we're going to open it back up inside of premiere pro here now putting it back on top of our layer here you guys can see it looks a little bit weird but we're going to fix it by going into the background clip here and bringing down the scale so it matches perfectly and you guys can see here we have this massive scene now that went from this to now this and if it looks a little bit weird blending here as you guys can see what we can do is go into Lumetric Color and it looks like the exposure just needs to be turned up. Turned up or turned down a tad on our clip right here. And as you guys can see, just like that, we have generative fill on the video. Now this looks so clean and the possibilities are endless. I'm sure you guys have seen a couple videos on this, but I really like the way it looks on static shots. So if you guys are looking to film a music video in the future and need some ideas for it, you can really create so much with generative fill and using the keywords as well to describe what you want is also gonna help a lot. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, I highly recommend subscribing and liking the video as well. And also check out this video right here if you guys wanna learn a lot more. See you guys in the next video, peace.